What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to create a new application in Gatsby and we're going to consume contents from the Contentful Headless CMS by using its Content Delivery API. This is a conceptual model of the Contentful Headless CMS. In Contentful, we have organizations and then for each organization, we may have one or more spaces. Then for each space, we may have one or more environments and then we can create different content types or data structures that are going to describe the contents that we want to create. Okay, now let's see an example that is based on what we're going to do in this video. So we're going to create an organization that we're going to call it Pragmatic Reviews. Then we're going to create a space that we're going to name Bands. And we're going to create an environment. Actually, we're going to use the default environment that comes with Contentful, that is Master. And then we are going to add a new content type that would be Band with an identifier, the name of the band, the genre, and the website. And finally, we're going to create the actual content, for example, Metallica, with the identifier, the name, etc. Okay, if we take a look at the pricing page of the Contentful website, we can see different plans. We have the community plan, we have the team plan, and the enterprise plan. And here we have the full comparison between the different plans. For example, for the community plan, that is the one that we're going to use, we can create up to five users, up to three environments. We can create two roles and what else? We can add up to 48 content types. We can create up to 25,000 records. Uh, the community, of course, is a free plan. For example, we can make up to 2 million API calls. The asset size is limited to 50 megabytes. And there are some other characteristics that we can review here. Okay, so I'm already logged in within the Pragmatic Reviews organization. So I'm going to create a new space and I'm going to call it Bands. I'm going to click here on Create Space. Okay, and now we can add a new content type. So I'm going to click on Content Model and I'm going to click on Add Content Type. And the first content type will be Band and I'm going to click on Create. And now I'm going to add the fields for this content type. So I want to add a number that will be the identifier of the content. Another field will be the name of the band. So this will be a text name. And another field will be the genre of the band. That will be also a text. And finally, the website of the band. So this will be a website that will be a text as well. And now I'm going to click on save. And now we have our first content type to create bands. So if we go to content, we can create a new band. So I'm going to click on add band and I'm going to complete this form. So let's say one, three Metallica, metal, www.metallica.com and here I can archive or I can publish this record or I can keep it as a draft. So I'm going to click on publish and depending on the status of the content, we will be able to access this content on different endpoints. For the delivery content API, we need this content to be published, but there is another endpoint that will allow us to read contents even if they are in draft state. Okay, let's go back and we can create another band. I'm going to do that really quickly. Okay, here I created these three bands, Foo Fighters, Ramones and Metallica, and I publish all these three records. So let's see how we can access this data consuming the Contentful Delivery API. Okay, so in order to consume the Contentful API, we need to go to settings and we need to go to API keys. And here we need to click on add API key. And here we're going to get the name of the token, the identifier of the space and the content delivery API. That is the one that we're going to use. And if we want to use the content preview API, this will allow us to access the contents on draft state, for example. Okay. So if we go to Postman, this is the endpoint of the content delivery API, cdn.contentful.com then we need to specify what is the space that we want to access. 
and then we need to specify the access token. So here I'm going to create a new environment so that I can assign the value to these variables. So let's do that. So I'm going to create a new space. I'm going to call it contentful API. And I'm going to add a new variable here. This would be space underscore ID. And I'm going to grab the value from here. And I'm going to create another variable here that will be access underscore token. And I'm going to grab the value from here. Here I'm going to select the Contentful API environment. And now we will be able to call the API and we're going to get all the entries that we created. So let's take a look. And if we go to the payload of the response of calling this entries endpoint, we're going to find the values of the band. So here we have Foo Fighters, here we have Ramones, and here we have Metallica. And there's some other data that is part of the response. For example, the environment that we're in, the space, and the content type that in our case is band. Okay, now let's create a new Gatsby application to consume the Contentful Delivery API. So let's use the Gatsby CLI for that. So this will be Gatsby new and the name of the application that will be Gatsby Contentful. And this is going to create a new project using this repo as the template for the project. And it's going to also download and install all the packages and dependencies required for the project. Okay, now that we have the initial structure of the project, let's go to Visual Studio Code. So the first package that we need to install is the plugin that will allow us to consume the Contentful API. So let's go to the Gatsby website. And here we can find the plugin. So this is Gatsby source contentful. This one. So here we can run this command first to install the dependency. Oh, so let's open new terminal here and let's run that. npm install dash dash save Gatsby dash source dash contentful. Okay, now that the Gatsby source content full package is installed, we need to set it up here within the Gatsby config file. So we need to add a new entry here in this plugins array. So we're going to do that. So let's go back to the website. And here I'm going to grab this configuration from here. Paste it here. And here we need to replace this by our space ID. I'm going to grab that from the Contentful website and I'm going to copy that from here. And now I'm going to set the access token here and I'm going to grab the access token from here. And of course we can always use environment variables. That's the recommended approach. Okay, that's all we need to set up this plugin. So now Let's start the development server. So this will be Gatsby develop. Okay, now that the Gatsby development server is up and running, we can either go to this URL to access the website, or we can access this endpoint. In our case, we're going to use this endpoint to get the query that we need in order to access the data that we get from Contentful. So let's follow this link. Okay, and here if we want to get access to the content type that we created in Contentful, that is the band content type, that is actually this one, we need to go here to all Contentful band, and here we need to go to edges, and then we access the node. This is the way that we have to access the actual attributes of the band. So here we can access the website, we can select that field, to be part of the query. We can also select the name here, and we can also select the genre of the band. So now if we run this query, we're gonna see that we get the data from the Contentful API. So we get the website, the name, and the genre for all the bands that we created in Contentful. So now let's grab this query, and we can use this query in our React components. So let's go back, 
and let's go to the index page, this one, and let's make ch some changes here. First, I'm going to create a new constant that will be the GraphQL query that we are going to run to render the contents getting the data using that query. So this will be const query, and I'm going to paste the query here. I need to add quotes to this query here and here. And I need to use the GraphQL library from Gatsby. So here I'm going to import that library. This is GraphQL. And I'm going to add this keyword here. And I'm going to make some changes to this component. I'm going to remove everything from here. And I'm going to remove this and this link. OK, and here I'm going to create a table. So I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm going to get the list of bands from this query. And I'm going to iterate each band. And I'm going to show the data within the table. So this will be a table. Let's add a title. Let's call this bands. And I'm going to create a row. And the first row will be the name of the columns that I'm going to show. So it will be the name of the band, the genre of the band, and the website of the band. And now I'm going to iterate over the list of bands. And I'm going to show each band in a new row of this table. Here, I forgot to export this query. So here, I need to use the data variable. That would be the way to access the results that I get from this GraphQL query. So this is data. Actually, I need, forgot to add that as a parameter here. That's the way that we have to access the data using Gatsby and this plugin. So here is data. And here, we need to use this value, all contentful band. We access the edges, as we can see here. And then we need to iterate all these elements, all the nodes, so we can use the map function for that. And map receives another function that is going to access each node and the index. OK, and here I'm going to create a new table row. And I'm going to create three columns. The first one will be to access the name of the band. So this is node.name. Another column to access the genre of the band. So this is node.genre. And the last one will be to access the website of the band. This is node.website, like this. OK, now let's go to the browser and let's refresh the website. And as we can see here, we have the list of bands for fighters with the genre and the website, the same for Ramones and the same for Metallica. So that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.